All right, chip of the day. Chip of the day is an AD 536A. Pretty special part, and um, I have to warn you up front, these are not cheap. <laughs> this is not, a, not an inexpensive chip. Um, I think they're about $50, <laughs> something like that. They're pretty crazy. Anyway, I happen to have one. So let's hook it up and see if it does what it's supposed to do. It is a true RMS to DC converter. So if you have an AC option in a, in a good voltmeter, you have to convert AC into DC so that the voltmeter can then measure it. The voltmeter can't measure AC directly. It has to get converted. And it's true RMS. So what is RMS? It stands for root mean squared, okay? So some, some mathematicians got in the way there. So let's, let's try to make it into simpler mathematics. Um, root, what is root? Well, that's square root, okay? Root just means square root, okay? So square root, okay. Mean, what is mean? That's just average, okay? Average. And uh, squared, what is squared? Well, squared is squared. Okay, so if you square some volts and take the average of those and then take the square root of that, that is root mean squared. Okay, root mean squared. And um, it's a way of averaging. Um, uh, and so sine waves uh, going up and down. And so the first thing you do is you make them all go up, make everything positive, make everything go up, and then you... Uh, make them squared, so you, 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 you multiply them together, right? So if you have, if this is the voltage, voltage times voltage is voltage squared. Um, and then you sample all of these, you add them all up, that's the averaging, add them all up and divide by how many averages there are and stuff. And then once you get all done with that, you take the square root of it and you have a root mean squared. Anyway, it's a weird thing, but that's, that's what RMS is. Okay. And so obviously this is not a simple thing to do. And so you need a pretty fancy chip to do that. And so the first thing you do is take the absolute value. Remember I said the sine wave goes up and down. You need to make them all go up. You need to rectify it. Um, and so you take the absolute value and then there's a squaring, squaring function here. You take the square and then you average them, and then you take an unsquared, and anyway, um, th it's a complicated chip. And then once you get done with that, it has a nice buffer section so you can send it out to the rest of the world. So anyway, that's, uh, that's what this chip is. There's another chip, let me get the part number right here, uh, an AD737, AD737. Uh, that one is a simpler chip and a whole lot cheaper. Um, so you might wanna look at that one if you need something to do RMS. Um, but let's go ahead and hook it up, see if it does what it's supposed to do. All right, so here's the chip here. It's in a gold ceramic package, so you know it's expensive. Um, let's get out another meter here so we can see what's going on. All right, so uh, it, doesn't, it doesn't require any external components except for one uh, capacitor, and that does the averaging function. And you can choose however fast you want it to settle. And so you get to choose that capacitor, but that is it. Nothing else, nothing else here, just wires. So it does everything you need it to do. All right, so let's uh, back up here a bit, get everything in camera. All right, let's turn this on. All right. So the first thing we're gonna do is measure how much we have coming in. And I have zero volts coming in. And that's because I'm on DC volts. I need to be on IC volts. If I go to AC volts, I have 0.9968 volts coming in. So it's AC volts, and this is an RMS uh, voltmeter. And so the RMS voltage coming in, it's a sine wave coming in, and the RMS sine wave coming into the chip is 0.9963, all right? So let's look at the output of the chip. And the output of the chip is Zero. That's because I'm on DC, AC, uh, AC volts. We need to go to DC volts. The DC volts coming out of the uh, meter, uh, the, uh, the uh, fancy chip there, is 1.002 volts. Um, so I've used my uh, digital uh, 
waveform generator to, to output exactly one volt RMS. And um, it's doing a pretty good job. <laughs> so anyway, you can see that um, this chip is converting AC into DC RMS. And uh, it's all on a single chip. And uh, yeah, you pay for that. <laughs> But uh, yeah, there you go. I mean, there's not much else to say about this chip. Uh, you can kind of look at some other specs of the chip. I mentioned this once before, and that is you need to figure out how fast your voltmeter can go. Not all voltmeters can do RMS quickly. Um, I have a nice Hewlett Packard meter that I repaired just a few weeks ago um, that can do up to four megahertz RMS, um, but most meters, get you around 100 kilohertz RMS, something like that. Um, let's see what this one is spec'd at. This one says uh, it can do 450 kilohertz bandwidth. Um, and if you have a, that's for any signal bigger than 100 millivolts. If you have signals bigger than a volt, it can go up to two megahertz bandwidth. So this is a pretty screening chip. Uh, it's, doing, it's doing pretty good. Um, and it's pretty accurate. Um, it is laser trimmed. And it says it's 0.2% um, for the AK version and 0.5% for the AJ version. Which one do I have? I have the A, which one do I have? I have the J version, yeah, I have the J version. So mine's half a percent, but it's measuring pretty good. So yeah, there you go. Um, let's take a look at the schematic of the circuit that I, I connected. It's one of the, um, uh, let's see here, figure, this figure 13. Yeah. So in the data sheet, it tells you how to hook these things up. And uh, here is the circuit that I hooked up. I have uh, plus minus 12 volts coming in. So I have uh, minus 12 there and plus 12 there. My, my sine wave is going into the in and I have a capacitor. Um, 10 microfarad. I have that going to pin four and it go, it's not goes between ground. It, it goes between plus 12 and uh, pin four kind of odd. And then, uh, the voltage comes out of pin six and, uh, because it has a buffer, um, you have to take the output and move it into the buffer. So pin seven and eight are jumpered together and that's all the rest of this chip. I mean, uh, doesn't require any external components except for that one capacitor. So yeah, there you go. All right. Chip of the day is an AD 536A.